What's good, you guys? So we are going to talk about the new moon in Pisces ritual for this weekend. It's going to be spell casting, though. So we are going to be doing, if you choose to participate, making honey jars, right? So a little bit about honey jars. Honey jars can be used for a multitude of things. They can be used for manifesting. They can be used for sweetening up you they can be used to sweeten up someone in your life so that you could put someone's name in the jar and if you are having issues with them want to work something out with them in a more pleasant way you can do that if you are finding yourself in a very temperamental disposition you can put yourself in there if there is something you are desiring in your life you can add that so we are I'm going to sh share herbs and different things you can add into it. I am going to show you how you can basically build the jar for yourself and um, just walk you through those steps so that you can do this on your own. Now, I'm thinking about um, in the future, it, new moons to support everyone in manifesting having to where we can gather together y'all hear my son in the background <laughs> um where we can gather together and do this with one another um you can either get the things yourself the items yourself or i can build the kids for you and do it in that way that way you'll have i will uh, let you all know ahead of time at the at the full moon what the new moon ritual will be um that way you can see if that's something that you want to actually participate in and we'll collectively get together and that evening of the new moon and do our work you know so like a little witch's circle you know if you're into things like that so i'm gonna go ahead and get into these herbs first and then i'm gonna talk about building your um your jar okay so i'm gonna switch the camera down to the herbs so you guys can see them and i'm gonna talk about them i also list them down below um so you don't have to use all of these herbs use whatever is calling for you maybe you want something for healing right pisces is a very great energy for healing maybe you want something for love it's a great energy for love we have venus in pisces right now the sun's there neptune's there so a lot of a dreamy romantic kind of relationship vibes can be um cultivated conjured during this time um you can even do this in regards to your business, especially the success of that. Pisces is one of those energies that bring imaginative things to life, bring dreams to life, you know? So you basically you choose. It's enough herbs for you to choose from here that will definitely give you options of whatever it is that you are trying to work and yeah let's get into it okay so here are some of the herbs first i'm gonna start up here we have some parsley here and parsley is really good for a for money drawing um let me see it's good for protection also for um love and fertility it's also really good for like if you're trying to rent a house if you're trying to move it supports that as well and here we have some dill and dill is um it's good for love it helps break jinxes in love um what else it also helps restore your sexual vitality so if you are trying to like um enhance your sex life that is good to add to that and then here and then oranges you would take the peel off the orange and put it in your jar and oranges are good for general look it's good for love it's also good for abundance as well as it's also for happiness in your life and then we have here some lemon balm and lemon balm is good for cleansing for health um it draws in new love and it clears um bad luck like 
having faulty situations in love but it also lemon balm is really good for enhancing your spell work um it really um triggers it as well as cinnamon i ran out of cinnamon um that's something that can be used as well uh cinnamon brings in good fortune um in your business and in health um it is also good for uh making things fiery it spices up your love life and it enhances any working all right so then we have dandelion here and dandelion it basically it grants wishes um that is the main thing in dandelion it's also good for cleansing um and protection if that's something that you need and then here we have some lavender lavender is good for peace and tranquility um it's also good in love workings as well. Um, it also brings calm to you. Uh, kind of gives you a very peaceful vibe if that is something that you want to bring forth. Like it, it's good in um, home blessings, you know. And then we have some bay leaf here. And bay leaf is good for protection, health, success. Um, it enhances your spiritual gift. It connects you to the wisdom. Uh, like, it enhances your wisdom within as well. Like, helps you really connect and see that. And then we have some time here. And time is, um, time is really good for increasing the money that you already have. And it helps you keep it. All right. So, it is also good for, uh, you know, bringing in a very peaceful vibe all right and then let's go here we have some chamomile here and with chamomile this removes money jinxes so if you're having a hard time keeping your money right whereas time helps you keep the money um chamomile will help you uh move out the way any obstacles that uh continue to create um leaky pockets basically and here we have some myrrh and myrrh brings in blessings really it calls in it brings the divine in um it brings in that really benevolent spiritual energy for me i see it as um enhancing the work as well because it directly like calls in god you know and then what else do we have what is this Oh, that's catnip. Okay, I had to taste that, y'all. <laughs> um, this is catnip, and catnip is uh for love workings, and it's also beauty. And so, if you are wanting to enhance your beauty, um, it is really good for that. Same with lavender. Um, we have another herb here that's really good for beauty. I'll talk about that in a second. So, when you use beauty herbs. In your workings what it does is facilitate you in a way to be able to um, bring more beauty into your world into your life the types of beauty that you like and feel that you need in order to feel or be in that space of beauty all right so and then here we have some juniper um, so juniper it, it gives you luck in sexual relationships so say you are having um, it's just lacking, you know, it definitely, it enhances that energy, um, and, and it revs up that, that sexual vitality, those hormones, um, but on a spiritual level, you know, it helps it manifest through you. So then we have here, this is some cedar. And cedar brings in blessings. It's good for health workings. It's also good for, it helps cultivate benevolent power within you, within your life. And here we have a rose. And roses support love and support beauty as well. So like you could take this whole rose and put it in the jar and um, pour the honey on top of that. And it really support you. Um, in that aspect of things and then we have some allspice here and allspice is good for luck it enhances things it's a fiery herb so it helps things work really quickly um okay so i'm gonna move this stuff out the way 
and start putting this jar together for you guys and um, just talk about the different things that I have up here already. Okay, so another thing I forgot to mention was vanilla. You can add vanilla as well. It's good for love. You can use a vanilla bean, um, but if all you have is vanilla extract, you can use this as well. Um, none of these products are sponsored. I just need to put that out there because <laughs> I know how the internet be. So we will start with, so we have the jar here. This is a four ounce mason jar. You can use a eight ounce, but I like to look, use the four ounce jars because you know, they fit everything in there and they just, um, they're convenient and you don't have to use as much honey. Um, and you can do a multiple amount of jars if you need to. So say you have more than one thing that you want to do work on, you can use more than one. And these come in a four pack. These are ball mason jars and um, you can utilize any, uh, any size you want. Say you just have a regular old pickle jar. That works as well. Use what you have. Don't get caught up in thinking you need to buy anything new because you do not. Um, another thing that I wanted to mention is like the roses and the juniper. These are things that I normally just keep in the house. Flowers, um, this juniper plant. I like juniper because it, it it lasts through all seasons. Um, it grows a lot and it has a lot of spiritual properties. You can use it in a lot of different things. So keeping plants in the house that you can utilize um, within, keeping spices in the house like the um, like the thyme and the bay leaf and oh, I forgot to mention basil. This is a basil. This has been it was supposed to dry. It just wilted but basil is really good for money working as well it can draw in um, it's good for drawing in large amounts of money all right so then you can also use crystals so like clear quartz um, a rose quartz for love this is a green opal which would be good if you are trying to draw in money um, a petrified wood is good for protection um, these are also uh, two jasper stones as well. Jasper is really good for um, balancing anxiety, connecting you to your will. Um, this is chestnut jasper. This is, uh, you know, I can't remember. It is a jasper, but look up jaspers <laughs> because there are a multitude of them and they have a lot of different properties. But you can use any stone, whatever stones it is that you have on hand, utilize those, look them up, get acquainted with them and all of those things. So to get started, so first what you want to do is write your petition. All right, use um, something natural. This is just a herb bag that I have. Um, but if you can use parchment paper, that would be good. If all you have is lined paper, construction paper, you can use that too. And write it in pencil. Or you can write it in blue, in blue ink. Um, because that is uh, said to be seen by spirit. You know, so write whatever you want. You can you do a long petition, um, just stating your your request, uh, thanking spirit, um, for uh, accepting your 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 request and fulfilling that. Um, you can talk about what it is. You know, you can make it very very um, informal, like you're talking to a friend kind of thing. Or you can put your name on the petition of any petition, write your name, write your birthday, and then you can write what it is that you want over your name, All right? So say my name, Chanel, I want money, 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 All right? And then I just um, you write it three, six, or nine times. So then you take the petition and you fold it towards you three times and make it small, right? Do like that. And then you stick it in a jar. This is not gonna fit in there. 
um, but I will use another sheet of paper uh, so that you guys can see it. So, just gonna write petition. Bashar, stop all that screaming. Mommy. Yes, baby. Um, um, uh... And then take your petition and put it in the jar. So, once you decided what herbs it is that you're gonna use, before you put it in the jar, you want to smudge your jar. All right, so where's my lighter? Okay, so light your smudge and let the smoke go up in there. Let it smudge up in the jar. And then take your jar, add your herbs. So first, before anything, put your herbs in. If you can grind them up, if you have a mortal and pestle, take your herbs. Just take a little bit of each of them. And then grind them up. And state your intentions as you're grinding them. Um, bless them, pray over them, call in what it is that you are intending for them. And with these as well, you can smudge these as well. All right, so after you get through with that, take your herbs, take them out the jar, I mean, out your mortal and pestle, and put them in there. Now, yeah, so you have your herbs in there, and then you take your petition, you put it in your jar. Take your crystals, if you're using some, put those in there. Um, there are other types of different um, things you can add in. So like if you're doing money, you can add in coins, um, copper money, like pennies and stuff are good. Love, you can add a whole rose. So I will put this in there. Put my petition in first. Put the petition in. <laughs> Put the rose in. You cut the stem off more. Put that rose in there. But you will put it in there so it could fit. And then um, take your honey. Pour your honey into the jar until it gets to about right there. And then you will close the jar. Right. So after you do that. This is some road opener oil that I made. Take this and the same herbs that you put in the jar, make sure you have some left over. Take a candle, put it, dress it with your conditioning oil and then put the herbs on there. So I have enough candles to give an example. Um, take it out. You can either also spoon um, the oil on there so you don't have to put your candle on there. And also, uh, carve your name in the candle. I'm forgetting things. Carve your name in the candle, your initials, your birthday, um, and then smudge it. Don't do what I just did. Carve your names in the can carve your name, your birthday, and then smudge the candle. After you do that, dress it with your conditioning oil and put your herbs on there so once your candle is dressed all right take your jar set it down Light the bottom so that it can stay on your jar. 
and light your candle and then um after you light your candle you can uh say a prayer you can light some sage and let that burn you can light some incense and let that burn and just let the candle burn down over your jar and let your intentions be given to spirit and that's it you guys um it's fairly simple the most time it takes is the prep part you know and um yeah that's it so if y'all are this braid if y'all are interested in um well i'll make a post about it instead of having y'all comment on this i'm gonna list everything that i just showed y'all um and just um i'm gonna list the everything that you need and and just follow the steps that were in the video i hope that this is helpful for you guys i hope that y'all manifest much love much sweetness much abundance in your life okay and that all is well that all goes well that all is generous and great so y'all have a <laughs> y'all have a beautiful new moon in pisces and i will see y'all next new moon bye